today's video is my September TBR. So for September, I have decided to go in two month-long readathons, and those readathons are Becker's Bookopoly readathon, and then the Journey Through Wonderland, which is a readathon that is being put together by members of Middle Grade Monthly, as well as members from A Touch of Whimsy. And those people are Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, Jade from JD Ray Reads, who make up two thirds of Middle Grade Monthly, and then Kaylin from Kaylin Abridged, and Lexi from Alexandra, Alexandra Rosen, who make up A Touch of Whimsy. So they have made a really cute readathon. Um, they've put a lot of effort into it. They've got merchandise, they've made a map, they've done all sorts of things like that. They will be having a live show at the end, which is a live show where everyone is encouraged to dress up as some character from... Wonderland, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So I thought that looked really, really cool. And also I really want to read some more middle grade, but Becca's Bookopoly also looks really, really fun. So I decided to combine the two as best I can. So I've got some books that I think will work really well for the Wonderland readathon, but I'll see how much I can fit into the Bookopolathon as well. I do also have some buddy reads that I'm going to be doing as well as my own book club read for the month of September. So I'll tell you about the buddy reads and the um, book club book at the end. So let me just show you the two map slash boards for the two readathons that I'm going in. First up we have this beautiful map that has been made for Journey Through Wonderland. So you enter here, going down the rabbit hole, and the prompt for that is down the rabbit hole, read a book set in another world. Then you go through to the flower garden, read an, aesthetic, an aesthetically pleasing book, which is that prompt there. Then you go across to Drink Me, which says make yourself a cozy reading snack. So that's something that I will do at some point throughout the month, probably several times throughout the month, if I'm honest. And then we go across to the White Rabbit's house, pick up a book for a cozy night in. So my theory is that any of the books that I've chosen for this readathon will work for the cozy night in. Then we have The Queen of Hearts Palace, Pick a book that you think you will love. Then you go up to the Cheshire Cat. Pick a strange and mysterious book. And then the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And that is where you join them for the live show party. And then you go out back out the door. So I think this is just gorgeous. And I think they've done so much work. Like I said, I will link all of their announcement videos in the description below. You should definitely go and check them out. Even if you're not planning on doing this readathon, even if you're not subscribed to the channels, which by the way, you should be because they've dressed up for their readathons into the characters and um, for their announcements, I should say. And it's just gorgeous and beautiful and amazing amount of work so definitely check those out so that is the map that I will be following for that readathon and then Becca has put in a lot of effort as well because she has made this special game board for the readathon so every year she makes I think she's been doing it for two years now or a year and a half so both years she makes a bookopoly board as you can see it's based on Monopoly and she does that every month for her own TBR for the month. So for this month she's made a special one for the t for the readathon. I'll just go through and tell you what all the prompts are but if you want more information about how it all, got, all works and what you do and what everything then I suggest you go and check out Becca's video as well which again is linked in the description below. So you start at go and then we go through to, um, so sorry, I should also say there are chance cards, which I have got printed out, which go here and here, uh, here. And then you've got community chest cards, which again, I printed out as well. So the community chest cards, you make up some prompts like um, a partner picks, parent picks, cat picks, um, a booktuber's favorite book, or your 
favourite author's newest book or whatever it might be. So there were 16 cards for that and then there was the chance cards and the way that Becca does it and therefore the way that we will be doing it is you have eight cards which have books that you really want to read and eight cards which have books that you don't want to read quite so much. That's the board. So going around I'll just read them out to you. We go to lowest rated books so that was lowest rated according to Goodreads. Community Shelf, Small Book, under 300 pages long, TBR Vet, so a book that you've had on your physical TBR for as long as, for a long time. Translated Book, a Dark Cover, Chance Card, a Foiled Cover, a Light Cover, a TBR Game, so you go and find someone else's TBR game and use it to find a book for this prompt. Um, so there are quite a lot of booktubers that do TBR games, apart from Becca. So JD Raid Reads is a person. Gav um, from How to Train Your Gavin is a person. Cody from Cody's Book Corner does a TBR game. Lots of different people do a TBR game. I will link all the people that I talk about in this video, by the way, in the description below. And then we have Disability Rep in a book, an ebook or an audiobook. A person of colour rep in a book, LGBTQA plus rep in a book, poll pick, so a form of social media, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you do a poll, have say four or five books that you might want to read and then let people vote. Then we go middle grade, then community chest again, young adult, adult, and then Becca's rec, so you look up Becca and see a book that she would recommend. First in a series, Chance, standalone, sequel, own voices. So a book written by a person who is a member of a community uh, who are in the minority, if that makes sense. A fire on the cover, water on the cover, read a sad book, nature on the cover, a five star prediction, um, set in the past, set in the future, community shelf again, set, sorry, set in the present, set in the future, a friend chooses a book, Chance again, a big book, so over 500 pages, most recent purchase and highest rated. Like I said, I am going to do the roles and let Bookopoly choose my TBR and hopefully I can fit the books that I've chosen for Wonderland into that, but if not then I will add them on top. So the rules for Becca's Bookopoly are that you pick however many roles you want to do, just like in Monopoly, if you roll double, then you have to roll again. So potentially that will mean that you will end up with many more books on your TBR than you would have done anyway. So I'm going to roll five times. I have chosen five because I can definitely read five books in a month, obviously depending on the size of the books. Um, and given that I have those um, buddy reads and my book club book that I need to read as well that's a good number obviously hopefully I don't get any doubles so we'll see how we go so here we are all set up in one of my little Russian nesting dolls as a counter it's actually not technically Russian since I got it from the Czech Republic but you get the idea I have my two six-sided dice they're my D&D &D dice so got this marbly one And a rainbow one. Let's start. Nine. Light cover. All right, so as you just saw, my first role was to read a book with a light cover. So for this one, I am going to read this book, which is a book called Never Tell by Catherine Orton. I don't really know much about this book at all, um, so I will read the blurb on the back. Sometimes it takes a little courage to discover magic. 11-year-old Lena has never seen the world beyond the prison camp until the night she escapes with her best friend, Bogdan. As the pair journey across a snowy Russian wilderness, they are pursued by a vengeful sorceress and her pack of shadow wolves. The children will need every ounce of bravery and a little sorcery of their own if they are to survive. I did read the blurb when I picked this up in the bookshop, actually just the other day, and I thought it sounded really interesting and really fun. And as you can see, the majority of the colours on this cover are light, 
so I thought that it would work really well for this prompt. Um, it is middle grade, so it does fit into my Wonderland um, TBR as well, and I will go through and show you how all the books fit into that at the end because I wanted to see how my rolls went before I did that. So that was roll number one. The cats are just behind me on the window so watching very closely. All right, roll number two. Nine again. <laughs> what are the odds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Young adult. Roll number two was to read a young adult book. So for that I will be reading With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is Elizabeth Acevedo's second book but it is my first time reading anything by Elizabeth Acevedo. I've heard some really amazing things about this book and about Elizabeth Acevedo in general. So I'm really excited to read this one. From what I know about this it is about a teenage mum who really wants to be a chef hence all the beautiful fruits on the cover and it's about her trying to balance getting good grades and following her dreams with being a good mum so yeah that's pretty much all I know about it yeah I'm really excited to read this one so that was for young adult roll number three eight this time one two three four seven eight fire on the cover Oop. There goes pistachio. All right, roll number three. Uh, we had fire on the cover. We're doing pretty well for the rolls so far. No doubles, so fingers crossed it stays that way. Yeah, so fire on the cover. I have chosen to read An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I've chosen this one because, as you can see, the little cat is outlined by fire. I don't really know a huge amount about this book. Again, I know that it's incredibly popular. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book, so I'm really excited to read it. I'll just read the blurb for you. The Searing First Installment into Part... Sorry, in... <laughs> The searing first instalment in Sabah Tahir's New York Times best-selling Ember Quartet. Vow your blood and body to the Empire. Keep your heart for yourself. An orphan fighting for her family. A soldier searching for his freedom. A story burning to be told. Laya is a scholar living under the iron-fisted rule of the Martial Empire. When her brother is arrested in the dead of night for treason and her loved ones slain, Laya must go undercover as a slave at the Empire's greatest military academy in exchange for assistance from those who claim that they can save her brother from execution. The academy's finest soldier, Elias, is secretly its most unwilling, but before he can act on the desertion he plans in his heart, he's ordered to participate in a ruthless contest to choose the next martial emperor. When Lyre and Elias's paths collide, they will find their destinies are inescapable, intertwined, and their choices inescapably intertwined, and their choices will rock the future of the very empire they fear. Sounds amazing. Interestingly, also a young adult, as is this one obviously um, and then this one is middle grade which I don't tend to read a huge amount of any of those so there you go all right roll number four three this time one two three nature on the cover okay so roll number four still not a double fingers crossed it stays that way a book with nature on the cover and for this one I am going to read perfectly prevented Perfectly Preventable Deaths by Deidre Sullivan. Uh, so as you can see, it has a little tree, a bunch of leaves, and a skull, which is a natural thing. All of that is inside this uh, snow globey thing, so that's not particularly natural, but it does have natural elements. So... Let's read the back of this one again as well. 16 year old twins, Maddie and Catelyn, have moved to Ballyfran, an isolated, peculiar town in the mountains, a place where, for generations, teenage girls have gone missing. Catelyn has always been the confident one, and Maddie is used to being in her shadow. But in Ballyfran, their paths divide as Catelyn falls in love and Maddie begins to discover powers she never knew she had. Maddie will have to find something hidden deep within her if she's going to prevent her sister losing more than her heart to this strange town. But there's no compass for the human heart, and what feels right might be more dangerous than either sister realises. There's no such thing as safe in Valley Fran. 
So I thought that sounded really, really amazing as well. Okay, fifth and final roll, unless of course I get a double. And one, two, three, four, five, set in the future. I did not get a double which means I only have to read five books for this particular readathon in September. So I got Set in the Future. So for that, I have chosen Shards of Honor by Lois McMaster Bujold. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you would know that this is one of the books that Rowan actually gave me to read in our March We Choose Each Other's TBR. And I didn't read it, <laughs> um, mostly because I, I don't read much science fiction and I was already reading um, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson with my friend Hayley from Hayley Reads and I didn't know how I would go reading two science fiction. Anyway, so I will read this one. So this science fiction, I think it's set in another world or another planet and Becca did say that set in the future you can pretty much guarantee that science fiction for the most part will be set in the future um, because my science fiction is set in the future. <laughs> so that was my choice for that one. Okay, so that is the Becker's Bookopoly portion of my TBR. So as you saw, there were a couple of middle grades that I have in there. So let's see if they work for The Wonderland. All right, so here's the map again. So we start out by going down the rabbit hole and reading a book set in the other world. Not 100% sure whether any of those books are set in another world. The perfectly prevented preventable deaths could be but I'm not sure because it sounds somewhat Irish so I've decided to play it safe and I've decided to read for that one a different book entirely which is Esme's Gift by Elizabeth Foster. I read Esme's Wish which is the first book in this series back in February and I now am going to pick this up. So it is set in another world it's a portal fantasy so it's about Esme traveling from our world into another world but I believe that this one will take place pretty much mostly in that other world. I'm pretty sure she starts in the other world. I don't know whether she ends up going back into our world or not. Yeah so I don't want to say too much about it because it's the second book and also I don't know too much about it. Let's look at the next one. Flower Garden. Read a book with an aesthetically pleasing cover. I mean any of these books work but personally I think this one is probably my favourite cover. I mean, I know it's a bit startling with the skull, but look at those colours. And I really like the whole snow globe effect. So that one works for that one. So then we have the snack, which I'll do in the month. The White Rabbit House. Pick up a book for a cosy night in. So again, I mean, any of these books work, but either of those two work, as does... Esme's Gift. Queen of Hearts, pick a book you think you will love. I, again, think I will love all of these books. So, all of these books. Cheshire Cat, a strange and mysterious book. I think this one sounds pretty strange and mysterious. I'm going to say this one. And then The Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So, there you go. These three are the books that I will be reading for the Wonderland portion of my TBR. And then these five other books that I will be reading for the Bookopolathon portion of the TBR and then I will probably hopefully be reading two books with Connor from Connor's Library Connor so we will be reading book five four and book five of the Mortal Instruments series which I've just gone and completely forgotten what they are called but I will put their images up here so those two books from the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare and then finally I will be reading for my book club, my in real life book club, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. So I've mentioned this on my channel a few times, but I run a book club, which is the Book Into Film Club, where we read a book and then watch and that an adaptation of that book that has been made into film. And we are going to watch one of the many adaptations that have been made of and then there were none. I actually don't know which one. We'll have to figure that out. We are next meeting in the middle of I think on the 12th we decided of September so that'll have to be one of the first books that I read but fortunately this is a month long. Both of these are month long readathons so I definitely will have time. There you have it. That is my reading plans for 
September. What are you guys planning on reading? Are you going in either or both of those readathons? If you are, please let me know. If you're not, let me know what you will be doing. Will you be doing any other readathons? Or are you going to just make up your own TBR? Are you a mood reader? Let me know what you're going to do with your reading plans for September. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.